Hi there Virgo, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out Oracle cards at the end. Okay Virgo, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Virgo please? Okay, Virgo. 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 Okay, one more and the past energy for Virgo, please. Okay, so the past energy for Virgo, please. The past energy for Virgo, please. It's the Fool in Reverse, okay. With the Knight of Wands in Reverse. With the King of Swords, okay. And uh, the present energy for Virgo, the sun, the lovers in reverse though, the ace of cups in reverse, and the future energy for Virgo please, the hermit. The Seven of Pentacles and the Moon and the overall energy for the reading. The Two of Pentacles. I feel like there is someone that's weighing their options and trying to figure out what to do here. Okay, because it seems like, so you could have been dealing with an air sign, a Leo, Gemini, could have been a Pisces, even another Virgo. Okay. Um, but it seems like someone did not take action towards this brand new beginning. It, it could very well have been this King of Swords. So the King of Swords tries to remain logical, practical, possibly even in control over their emotions. They could have appeared as if they were detached too, okay? Because that's why I don't see this person kind of like rushing in passionately. However, I feel like um, there could be a disconnect between you and um, this person. The Ace of Cups is showing up in reverse, so I feel like there's not a brand new beginning in love, okay? Someone may not even be maybe having difficulty keeping their heart space open, but when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. But it's like there is a potential for things to take a turn for the positive with the Sun card. Um, let's see. I feel like there is someone that's reflecting on this connection. They could very well be missing you. They're doing some deep introspective thinking self-reflection but they're keeping their feelings hidden under the moon okay so the moon talks about like fantasizing dreaming but let me clarify okay so let's clarify the two of pentacles for the overall energy for virgo please the two of pentacles so if someone's keeping their feelings hidden that's why there's no brand new beginning in love So I feel like if this person makes a choice, it can go either way. So let me see. Clarifying the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles for Virgo, please. Okay, clarifying the Two of Pentacles for Virgo, please. The Queen of Swords. So this could even be you that's weighing your options, trying to figure out what to do here. But you're showing up as a Queen of Swords. So I do see a match with the King of Swords. You're trying to be logical. You're trying to be practical. This is even you wanting the truth, okay? Look at that, it's like the Queen of Pentacles in reverse.
<laughs> There's your King of Swords again. What's going on here? Maybe you pulled your energy back because the Queen of Pentacles is very loving, very nurturing. And now this person is trying to figure out what to do. Uh, this is interesting. <laughs> there is a match here, though. Let me get another card. And there you go, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So I really feel like it's difficult achieving balance in this connection. Where there's like an equal give and take in energy. Because it's possible that you did pull your energy back from here. Okay, so I feel like that loving, nurturing element is missing right now. Now, to clarify the Fool card in reverse for the past. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. There is passion here with the Knight of Wands. So I feel like there is someone that's thinking about you. There's heavy contemplation. Page of Wands. So you have sparked an interest in this person. There is passion. It's like the Eight of Pentacles, heavy contemplation. You could be even focusing on work, pursuing the things that you're passionate about. But let me clarify the Knight of Wands in reverse. There is something unresolved with the Ten of Wands in reverse. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I see you being very self-focused, focused on your independence, taking great care of yourself. But someone could be feeling restless, okay, with the Four of Swords in reverse. Even though they're like, they're not rushing in passionately. Possibly trying to remain in control over their emotions, okay? But there's something unresolved with the Ten of Wands in reverse. So let me clarify the King of Swords. This person is feeling restless and you wouldn't even know. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't want to be left out in the cold. The world in reverse. But I don't see an end to a cycle. Okay. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So they're not really investing their time and energy into this connection. They could be confused as well. There could be uncertainty. So let me clarify the sun. Look at that. It's like this person does have romantic feelings towards you. They're wanting to speak their truth or they could have clarity when it comes to their feelings towards you with the Ace of Swords, okay? They do acknowledge this connection with the Four of Cups in reverse. And the sun, it's like they're seeing you in a positive light, so. Or they're hoping for positive changes. Let me clarify the lovers in reverse. The chariot. Two more cards. The ace of cups. And the Eight of Swords. So the Chariot is someone that makes a choice and moves forward with determination. So it's regarding this brand new beginning in love. But someone's really overthinking with the Eight of Swords. There could even be fear-based thoughts. That's why the Fool card is showing up in reverse. I feel like this person doesn't want to be left out in the cold. So it's like the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Clarifying the Ace of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups. I feel like there is someone that's wanting to be emotionally expressive. This could even be you keep... There you go. But the Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Queen of Cups. So you are someone that's very loving and very nurturing. Okay? But maybe it's like... Uh, it's difficult for you to express yourself here. Given the fact that someone's not really being emotionally expressive. Or this person's appearing... As if they're detached. So I feel like you are trying to keep your heart space open. Maybe you want this person to be emotionally expressive.
But it seems like there is someone that's stuck in their headspace with the Eight of Swords. Even though there is an acknowledgement of a connection and there's romantic feelings. Let me clarify the Hermit. The Hermit for Virgo, please. Death. The Three of Wands. And there you go, the King of Cups in reverse. I feel like there is a lot of waiting involved um, with the Three of Wands, or there could even be a distance between you and this person. I feel like this person does want to express how they feel. But for whatever reason, there's a delay here. So let me clarify the Seven of Pentacles before I say anything. There could have been an ending, but I see this person wanting to express how they feel and make things right with justice. Like they're want there you go. They've been hit with a tower moment of realization. So death could be talking about like endings and new beginnings, transformations, changes, okay? So I feel like this person's been hit with a tower moment of realization. But let me get another card. And there you go, strength. Interesting. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like the both of you are not together in the 3D. So maybe this person's been hit with a, some sort of realization, re realization that there could very well be an ending, okay? Um, so I feel like they do want to make things right, but let me clarify the moon. So that's like feelings being kept hidden. There we go, the Empress in reverse. With the Knight of Swords in reverse. So I feel like this is someone that's having to be emotionally expressive. Because um, if um, they continue to keep their feelings... There's the moon again, that's crazy. If they continue to keep their feelings hidden in the dark, it's just going to create insecurities and um, uncertainty. So this person's having to take action. There you go, in the Seven of Cups. Wow, that's like a lot of fantasizing, dreaming, someone looking at their options, trying to figure out what to do. But it's also someone having to let go of any sort of illusions and move forward here. Specifically, if they're wanting this Ten of Pentacles, which is wish fulfillment, abundance. So the Seven of Pentacles is in the upright, but the Ten of Pentacles in, is in reverse. So I feel like this person is doing some deep introspective thinking. They're trying to figure out what to do here. Okay. And I feel like, like there can be an ending if this person doesn't take action and express how they feel. Because I feel like you are trying to be emotionally open. Or you're wanting to be emotionally vulnerable. But it, but, but it could be difficult in this scenario. Okay? So let me get further insight from the Intimate Tarot for Virgo, please. Virgo. Virgo. The Eight of Pentacles, the Empress. The King of Pentacles, okay. The Sun. the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like um, there could very well be a desire to communicate, okay? So there is heavy contemplation. Someone's thinking about you. 
They're seeing you as the Empress, someone that's very loving, very nurturing and very beautiful. And there could be a potential for stability or positive changes, wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. However, I feel like you are also very self-focused with the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, okay? So, you could even be going through the healing process, but let me get... Queen of Swords also places healthy boundaries, okay? So, messages from the Oracle deck for Virgo, please. New love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work, prospects, or for spiritual growth, okay? So, the Page of Cups could be talking about, like, something new. And do something for someone. Give your attention to another. So, I really feel like this connection needs attention, right? Um, affection expression so let me get messages from the romance angel deck for virgo please virgo 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 New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So I do see someone wanting to express how they feel. I feel like you are trying to keep your heart space open. But look at that. Like stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So it could be someone new. It could be someone from the past. So just take it as is. Okay. And one more wedding. This situation involves marriage. So you, your love life could very well be going through positive changes. Okay. So that's my reading for you, Virgo. And I'll see you next time. Take care now.